Konnichiwa, my name is Logan Charles Luna and this video is going to be a week one update on my Jojo October, Jojo October challenge and also somewhat of a sketchbook 8 2020 tour. Uh, so here once again is the prompt list for the art challenge I'm participating in. Now we begin with the blank page where it's like your name and reward if found here. So the first artwork for Jojo October 2020, uh, the prompt list that I made, the first one was mask. And of course the mask that started it all, the vampire mask created by cars and later on found by Dio and Dio just becoming a vampire set everything you know chain of events into motion destiny that's all Jojo's is about fighting fate and now we move on to day two and day two's prompt was part which is like your favorite Jojo's part and this is going to sound very generic and basic, but yes, my favorite JoJo's part so far is part 7, Steel Ball Run. Johnny is a perfect amalgamation and fusion of everything that was cool about Jonathan and everything that was fun about Joseph put together into a familiar yet totally new Jojo's protagonist. The next prompt is for day three and it's Jojo, which is my favorite Jojo. And of course it's Jolene Cujo. Now it's time for day four's prompt. And it was only fitting that the day four would have villain because my favorite villain of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure so far is Funny Valentine. A lot of people can relate to how terrifying it is to have a complete psychopathic murder to be your world leader. And yeah, just the fact that he's the president of the United States and he seemingly is just going to get away with murdering so many people in that part. Also, his stand is one of the most interesting stands any villain has ever had. Because D4C, uh, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, it just makes copy. Well, it doesn't make copies, but it brings in different universe funny valentines. And they continue on the root universe funny valentine's will and it basically makes this guy immortal which is something that was really challenging for johnny and gyro to overcome in this part but definitely one of the best like scars that any anime or manga character has ever had is funny valentine's back because it is just the american flag like permanently scarred on his body. It shows you how patriotic he really is. Day five was Joe Bro. And my favorite Joe Bro, without a doubt, is everybody's favorite thirsty little plankton foo fighter. For day six, the prompt was Joe Mom. And my favorite Joe mom so far has been Lisa Lisa. Now, is Lisa Lisa the best parent? No, that award will always go to Bucciardi. Bucciardi, best mom, is always the big meme and joke of the JoJo's fandom. But it's really true. Like, there was no parent in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure who was more supportive and caring than Bruno Bucciardi. And now moving on to day seven. I just finished this. 
I don't think I've posted it on social media yet. So if you get to see it here in this video first, congratulations. But to end off the first week of my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure art challenge, it's going to be prompt seven, love. And I feel like somewhat of the most realistic uh, relationships in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure has been between Ansui and Jolene. Now the whole why is Ansui a man thing was very jarring for people. And the story goes, Araki really experimented a lot with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6. And in Part 6, he really pushed the edge with having Jolene's love interest be a woman. Now, the reason that uh, Shueisha and Shonen Jump kind of influenced Araki, like they didn't make him change Ansui sex, but the thing was, Araki was experimenting a little too much in part six, and the sales weren't doing as great as other parts of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And sales is always, bottom line, the most important thing in Shonen Jump's mind. So, Araki was given an ultimatum. He can, Ansui can either be a man, or Ansui can be a girl, but Ansui cannot have a lesbian relationship with Jolene. So at the end of the day, Araki didn't really care that much about the lesbian storyline with Jolene. It wasn't the hill he was going to die on, unlike Josuke's hair in part four. Like, seriously, Araki fought tooth and nail for Shonen Jump not to change Josuke's hair. He just, he loved Josuke's hairstyle. But this is a different story. So at first, Ansui was more uh, androgynous, where you couldn't really tell if it was a man or a woman. Then Foo Fighters questions it like, that's a man. And then Araki definitely got, you know, you draw something a certain way for so long, you just draw it by mistake. It's like muscle reflex. And the later versions of Ansui definitely look a lot like Diavolo from Part 5. But, you know, there were some subtle changes. But definitely towards the end and the prison break, it definitely looks like Diavolo just switched over to Part 6 for some reason. And there have been a lot of jokes and memes about it. Alright, this has been the first week of my Jojo October, Jojo October art challenge. I'm really trying to do something different. And like I said before, I don't want it to be straight up uh, copying or imitating Araki's art style. I wanted to do all of these artworks in my own art style, but still make it feel like it fits in the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure universe. Both of them. So to end things off, follow my social media if you want to see more of my art challenge. Um, there are going to be a few days where I do different artworks. Artworks that are a bit more personal. Artworks that are relating to projects I'm working on. And just different fan arts in general than this challenge. Also, if you want to support my art, if you want to join the tiers on my Patreon, you get behind the scenes which means rough sketches, you get to get videos early, you get shout outs at the end of these videos. If I had any patrons, I'd do some shout outs right now, but I don't. Uh, you would also get higher tier members, get requests on fan arts, they get to vote on fan arts, they get special digital commissions. And to wrap up this video, I kind of wish that Jolene would have gotten her little lesbian love storyline, but you can't always get what you want. And sometimes uh, the creator just doesn't really want to sacrifice some aspects of the story. So Araki was willing to compromise and just be like, yeah, he's a guy now. 
and sayonara that's it